Why, hello, everybody. So for those of you who have been around the channel for quite a while, this right here, probably you already know, but for anybody who's new, let me go ahead and explain. In the Linux space, there's three different types of packaging formats that have gotten really big and are uh, distro agnostic. You can install them on any Linux system. There's flat packs, there's app images, and there's snaps, all with their different, let's say, advantages, um, different design, you know, intentions and schemes. They all function a little bit differently. Some programs that are packaged in all different types will, for whatever reason, work better packaged in one format than another. Kind of the whole idea behind them is to essentially create a ecosystem similar to what Windows has with its EXEs, where you can just go out and get a binary for a program or an installer um, and bring it onto your system, just click it, open it, and it run, um, either install or just run the program. And flat pack snap snap images do do that um pretty much essentially on any system they're just going to open um there is some problems with that just because let's say for example with app images there is uh, a dependency it requires i believe it's fuse and fuse is i mean it is on most linux systems but it's not on all of them so it's not guaranteed to work on every Linux system out of the box. Uh, then there's things like snaps, which are made by Canonical, but they were horrendously slow and bloated when they f were first put out into the wild, especially when bigger applications were first packaged as snaps. They've gotten a lot better, but yeah, and also Canonical didn't go about it in the best way. It's like kind of I mean, I don't know if it's changed, but I know like on the back end, it was proprietary and, or it, it was, it was weird. It, it wasn't completely a normal open source project. So it, it, it was weird. Um, and then there's flat packs and flat packs are probably the best option because you can install flat pack on any Linux distro. Um, I'd be very surprised if you could find a Linux distro that couldn't install Flatpak. Uh, I'm sure some make it a little bit more difficult than others, but it it's not a problem. You should be able to install it. And Flatpaks do normally just run, like they'll work. The issue with Flatpak though is what you're gonna find with Flatpak permissions is a big issue with it. So you're going to essentially have to install a sister application flat seal to manage your permissions for applications. So OBS can access things on the system, different devices. Then you're going to have to also deal, <laughs> deal with ensuring that, you know, you check when you install a new flat pack and go into flat seal to make sure you don't need to give it more permissions than it already has by default. It, these packaging formats, I, I, I particularly don't like them not because they're not useful or good. Um, in a lot of cases, flat packs, apps, uh, snaps, app images, they, they are a really great place in Linux to go to when the distribution that you use, their packaging format, like their package manager, either doesn't have the application that you want, or it's just like not working properly, or maybe even your package man manager or distribution maintainer uh, packages the application without some of the features that you want. Those, those packaging formats can be absolutely fantastic for that. The only issue is these are becoming very popular and new users are starting to just use them for everything. Uh, now one, this makes Linux susceptible to the same problem that Windows has where um, 
applications in the system as a whole is getting much, much bigger, uh, just because all of these packaging formats include all of the dependencies necessary for the application with them. So you can end up having, you know, four, five, and even more of the same dependency all over the system. So, uh, I, to me, that's not that big of a problem. I don't really care there. The, the real issue with the new user space is these formats are talked about and kind of advertised by us users that they do make your life easier. And for the people who know what they're doing, they certainly do. But for a new user, my worry is, is I think it makes their life more difficult difficult. I, I think it introduces opportunities and failure points at places where a new user is going to get pretty pissed off by like nobody wants to install steam on a Linux system and find out that the version of steam that they installed on their system needs permissions to go and access other drives. So you need to install an extra application, go into that application, find the program, give steam, give it access to an extra drive. Like things like that are not very conducive to a good new user experience. But I feel like these are like my main gripes against all of these packaging formats could easily be fixed and most likely are being worked on already. Uh, I would be very surprised to find out that all of these packaging formats aren't working to reduce file size, uh, aren't working to ensure that people don't have to go out and install another application just to have applications, you know, function the way they should have access to the things that they by default need access to, um, and also should have access to. So I don't know. I particularly don't like using them, but also I do I do kind of have this like weird OCD thing with enjoying having everything coming from my actual distros package manager. Um, that probably could be it too, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I hope people are very much enjoying all of these platforms, uh, like your platforms, these packaging formats. I, just hope that new users don't find them abrasive. So maybe let me know down in the comments if you are someone who, you know, is new to Linux or when they were new to Linux, dived into snaps and flat packs. Was it an abrasive experience? Was it good? Did you have no issues and just love it? For me personally, I, I don't like recommending these type of packaging formats to new Linux users. And I don't think they're uh, the best for anything other than a fallback for when your distro ain't getting it 100% right. So yeah, let me go ahead and end off the video by switching over here to this nice little page that I made with some logos from, you know, things I like and, uh, you know, all the fantastic names for everybody over on Patreon. So thank you, all of these people up on the screen. These are my fantastic patrons. They support me over on Patreon. You can check out the links down in the description, one of them being the Patreon. So if you'd like to support the channel financially, please do. Thank you, Jonathan, Zach, TGB, Papa Smurf, and Matt from the Linux cast. Very much appreciated. And everyone else, thank you for watching. Hopefully you hit that like button and, uh, you know, I'll see you around. Peace.